This video will be discussing how to set up scheduling targets on EPS. Scheduling targets are used to set anticipated values for production and summary fields. Targets can be set on the project settings under the targets page. When scheduling, it is useful to set targets on specific critical production and summary fields. You can set the targets on a schedule level or on a destination level. Targets set on a schedule level are available for selection when using the resource and target leveling tool. Destination targets are only available for selection when using EPS Solver. I will set up a simple target on a schedule level based on an existing production field. I will go to the production field which I want to set the target on, in this case the tons, and specify that from today I want to have a minimum of 35,000 tons and a maximum of 40,000 tons a day. The targets can vary over time by adding multiple records with effective dates specified in the date from field. You will see the target icon added on the tons production field on the schedule level. As discussed, the set tons target has a minimum and maximum value and can be displayed on the cross tab. The targets can be seen through different colors on the cross tab report. In this scenario, the red color means that the tons in this period are over the set target. The blue color means that the tons are below the set target and the black color means that the tons mined in this period are on target. I will now set up a target on a new summary field that I will define now. The name of the summary field is total meters of which I will sum up the pre-split meters and the production meters. I will set up the targets to say as of today I want to have a minimum of 150 and a maximum of 175 meters per day. Now I'm going to add the total meters summary field on the cross tab report so that you can see the different colors. The most important thing about targets is that they guide you through the schedule and they are available for selection on the resource and target leveling tool on EPS or on the EPS Solver tool.